Hello and welcome to Evaluate This. I'm Andrew Fryer and in this short screencast I want to show you what's new in high availability in Hyper-V in Windows Server 2012. I've got a virtual machine here, London SQL, which is running SQL Server. And because of that I can actually put some load on it by executing this complicated query again and again. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller and leave that ticking away. As with earlier versions of Windows Server, what we have to do to enable high availability is to create a Windows cluster. And I've got two laptops here, London 1 and London 2. And I'm going to build a cluster from both of those. And because I'm feeling lazy, I'm going to use this PowerShell script. All this script does is to add the Windows clustering features into both of those machines, London 1 and London 2, and then builds a cluster with this one line command. Great, that's completed. And now if I remote desktop into one of these nodes, I've got failover cluster manager here, and we should see my new cluster, HAVM cluster. And what I want to do now is to put my virtual machine, London SQL, into this cluster. So I just go to roles here, select configure role, Choose virtual machine. I'm presented with a list of virtual machines that are running on both of those servers. I click next, next, and that virtual machine is now running on my cluster. And if I want to, I can live migrate it. Select a node, move it to London 1, OK. While I'm doing that, we can see it's still running. And now it's moved across to London 1. And notice that I haven't stopped London SQL at all during this process from when I started this video. It's now executed that query 870 odd times. So what's going on? Because this is a little bit different than what we had in Windows Server 2008 and 2008 R2. What we would have done in those operating systems is we would have configured some storage. But if I look here, there is none. So where's that virtual machine executing? It's sure it's running on my cluster, but where is it? Well, let's have a look at it. If we look at its settings. Notice that the hard disk, the snapshot file and the smart paging file location are all being stored on a share on a file server, HA file server. Well, what is that? If I go back to server manager now, notice up here, that I've got something called HA file server, and it's a scale out file server running currently on a virtual machine called London HAFS2 inside a cluster called HAFS cluster. Let's have a look at that. Here it is. And when I look at the storage of this virtual machine, it's got a cluster disk called cluster disk, and it's using cluster shared volumes, just like we used to do in server 2008 R2. And if I look at the role on here, here's that HA file server. And if I go down to shares down here, I can even look at that share. And you can see here that availability type is set to scale out. And if I look at its settings, I've enabled continuous availability. If you want to know how to build this highly available file server, I've got a video on how to do that on the link below. And then what I did in another video in the Evaluate This series is I migrated the storage of London SQL onto that file share. And the link for that video is here. So to summarize what's going on, 
I've got a virtual machine running in a cluster and notice at no time did I have to stop it as we would have had to do in earlier versions of Windows Server. And it is running on a two node cluster comprised of two laptops, London 1 and London 2. But it's data, metadata, hard disk, etc., are all running on this highly available file server, which is actually running off of two virtual machines. Now, this isn't a great story for high availability, but it does show you the key components that you would actually build in a production environment. If any of the nodes in either of these clusters fails, then the virtual machine will continue to function. Sure, it'll restart because that's not planned, but it will come up again automatically. If you want to try all this for yourself, please download a copy of the Windows Server 2012 Evaluation Edition and dig out some spare hardware. I've been Andrew Fryer. Thank you very much for listening.